guys. And yes, we know this. We should have been there. We should have been there. We should have been there. And then this video would have been us. They're like, oh my God. Oh my God, guys. You would never believe what happened. But uh, as you all know, Bailey's giving anemia. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, but look at her. She's a lot fitter. She's a lot better now. So. uh, I'm getting better, I promise. Yeah, yeah, so. Give me a break, y'all. What a last 365 days for this chick. Like, uh, (laughs) wild. (laughs) Um, Actually, probably 700 days since. Cut the cameras. Anyway, so this happened. What the? F- oh, I'm so sorry we weren't there. But Let's give it a watch. Like heaven. Aha, aha, well. He sounds like it. <laughs> what? Did people sort of know? Is that no, why they're going a, nuts? I don't know, but like. <laughs> Sounds good in English. But listen to the crowd. There it is. Oh no, that's a sad They're the same fonts. person from different, literally. Different fonts. <laughs> one is Times New Roman, the other one's Indian Special. <laughs> like, actually, t- Times New British. And the other one is fucking... Like, they're literally the same person, you know? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Listening to... You know what's nuts? Uh, uh, they make it sort of sound so easy and it's awesome. And obviously Ed Sheeran just popped out of nowhere and now he's sort of settling and creating his environment. He will settle very fast because he has done this at Wembley where he literally just sits on his chair, has his little loop pedal, Sometimes a guitar. Sometimes he does it standing up. Like just standing up and then that's just this thing. Adi Jit's very much the same. Yeah. Um, he just likes a lot of ton of life musicians because of some of the complexities of the songs to fill him out. Mm-hmm. Um, but... They're actually, like you said, the same person, the same style. They're literally the same person, different, like different countries, but like they're the same person. <laughs> the type of lyrics, the type of like style of singing. The, the type of like emotions. personality wise on stage, they're very similar. Uh, this is actually kind of crazy. And Ed Sheeran was just, or as I like to call him, Ed Sheeran. He was just in India, right? Yeah, he was. So maybe this is how they sort of like, mate, when you come to London, what yeah, if I like- pop out? <laughs> what if, what what if, if I be part? <laughs> we have we have different angles because I want to see the crowd's reaction to this. Then I, can I just say the freaking crowd? Eight. I would have lost my brain too though. And it's not easy to do this. This is actually crazy. Yeah. Ooh, hey, was this like halfway through? You guys have to let me know. Damn it! I missed it. This is giving me major FOMO. <laughs> <laughs> Or is it the opening? Is this the beginning? I love that. I love that. Real music. <gasps> Generational. I don't think people knew. I just no. think it was the fact that he was singing the song. And it sounds like it. Yeah, this might have been the beginning, the opening. Nah, they saw him, they saw him. Oh, there he is. That's insane. That's you got insane. your money's worth that night. Double show. Wow. 
what a moment. Ed Sheeran Singh. Ed Sheeran Kumar. You know what the dope thing is? Only the two of them are guitars. Nothing else. Nobody else. This is what they do, though, all the time. Like, it's just people think this is easy. What they're doing, but like, it's, it's not. Easy. It's really not. To, to get to that level of settling, to get to that level of calm. You and have the... to be Arijit Singh or Ed Sheeran. Literally. Like, I don't think there's another. And, and, and like, look, man. Zero moments where they're flat. They don't know how to get off, like, off tune. And uh, you know what the crazy they're figuring out in the moment as well. Yeah, because obviously this was like a spur of the moment situation. They obviously got together in the green room and this is what kind of came out of that. Probably a but DM. That's <laughs> how it happened. Most likely. Uh, but you know what the, the really sweet situation that's happening here is that because Adijit's style of singing... The fact that he has a lot of like Indian folkloric influ influence classical from the beginning, like yeah. classical and stuff, you wouldn't think that he would sound good in like straight up singing pop because a lot of the singers have a hard time transitioning from classical techniques into pop music. Correct. And it's not just an Indian phenomenon, it happens to anybody that has trained classical music. Correct. So to see it done to that beautiful high standard that, that everything is so pristine, even when there is a lot of. Uh, air of of improvisation on stage you still see some of those that impeccable stage presence and discipline that the both of them have yeah this is mastery this is I like love a, a, a I love proper it. master class of what it's like to improvise <laughs> 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 that is so sweet. So sweet. So, so sweet. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He no! came, did his thing, and dipped. Oh. oh wow, how sweet! I mean, I love this guy. They're actually unbelievably successful. A round of applause, brother! I my my niece. <laughs> oh look! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a, what moment. a moment! Yeah, because because <laughs> I'm sure he like because uh, Adijit's very very like. Uh, Fairly introverted, it seems, or not stoic, but more introverted. Yeah. And I don't think he he's like a very fanboy, uh, like publicly about many people. Sonu Nigam, he certainly is. Yeah. I like AR as well, but to see him with a Western artist, yeah. like be this giddy, is I know, this is unbelievable. Incredible. Actually, I think this is one of those moments that will go down in history forever. Like the time is, Arijit yeah. and Ercernan <laughs> just came together. Became. One Arijit Sheeran, <laughs> <laughs> you know, 